there are, uh, and what's, what I find fascinating is that the Islamic civilization itself, while it, practically every school of thought I am aware of had an interpretation of what the impact of a Salaf al Salih meant. So, for instance, the Malikis saw the Salaf al Salih as the practice of the people of Medina. Right? All of and, the people at that time yeah. were included. And, and they had, they argued that, well, uh, um, you know, the, 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 that is a far more reliable indication than looking at individual companions mm -hmm. because we can never have historical reliability yeah. as to any of The Hanafis uh, 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 saw the, the, the Salaf al-Salah more as a spirit of innovativeness and openness that the Salaf the the, the 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 prophet the prophet asking the companions to spread in on earth mm -hmm. and the the Hanafis had several uh, uh, rhetorical arguments about uh, the openness of the companions to the various native uh, traditions, traditions that they yeah. confront, yeah. and that is why they, they 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 said, well, we are more we are being we are more true to the to the spirit of the of the companions and the prophet in, in the way we approached it. Mm -hmm. uh, the the Shafi'is uh, with their textualism uh, uh, didn't uh, said, well, uh, the best way is for us. To, to see a documentation of what the son of Salah did. But at the same time, Shafi himself wanted sort of an anchor in, 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 in some record, a textual record, but then opened the door through, by analogical, analogical thinking in saying, well, but we can imitate the principle in this many many methods, and there are many different. Uh, some of the extinct schools had um, uh, uh, even uh, like um, uh, some of the extinct schools uh, said, "Well, no, we not all the companions are are equal. There, we have to differentiate between." Uh, uh, they're sort of very similar to the, uh, the, the tradition of Adil Bayt, the, those who consider that the, the, the authentic Salaf al-Salah is the family of the Prophet. Well, some of the extinct schools said the authentic uh, the companions who, at a minimum, spent X number of years with the Prophet and were known as close affiliates. So on that basis, they, for instance, rejected the traditions of Abu Hurairah. A lot of the very masochistic anti-women traditions come through Abu Hurairah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Abu Hurairah was a very late convert and he, he didn't spend much time as a prophet. And on that, it, 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 what is quite remarkable is that Islamic tradition itself, they struggled with the idea even uh, even the, 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 those people who are associated with the Mu'tazili school and so on, they had their own, in the, in the same way that the Sufis pointed to the traditions of Abu Dhar, for instance, and his uh, 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 rejection of wealth and his spirituality and and to Ali bin Abi Talib and his, his uh, very um, uh, 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 aesthetic uh, orientations. Uh, the Mu'tazali referred to the tended to, to to rely heavily on figures like Abu Ibn Mas'ud and um, what's the name of uh, um, uh, Ibn Mas'ud? I'm sorry, uh, the uh, the name is is getting there. But another one of the the companions. 
who was known for for um, the, the using re rationality in deciding whether Muslims should imitate Persian practices mm -hmm. or whether Muslims should uh, imitate Egyptian practices or whether Muslims should, you know, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. all, of, all of these orientations had what we would call a, a, a methodology of dealing or negotiating the Salaf al -Salah. In our modern terminology, but the, the 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 puritanical one of the one of the things that again is history, is, uh, as you said, is so important but yet so impoverished. Medina and Mecca used to be and this itself speaks volumes. Medina and Mecca used to be the most culturally diverse areas of the whole Islamic civilization. Every school of thought would have a representative in Medina and Mecca, especially Mecca. Every Sufi tariqa would have a representative in Mecca. When you would go to Mecca, you would find the, the Habash, the Ethiopians, you would find the Malaysians, you would find the uh, people from uh, Bukhara, you would find the people from, uh, um, uh, what is the name, the, the Chinese, um, uh, and, and each of them had a, a, a cultural, cultural representation as if to say, we are a part of the Muslim Ummah. And, here, and, and so Mecca was often re referred to as a carnival of, uh, of the Muslim civilization. You, you, you go there and uh, you, you find this was systematically obliterated by the Wahhabis who saw all of these as uh, heretics. heretics. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, there are remarkable historical narratives in which the, the Wahhabis uh, execute uh, or destroy uh, you know, either shrines set up by Sufi groups or uh, execute singers and dancers uh, from uh, different parts of the Muslim world, especially um, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa or North Africa and uh, in Malaysia, Indonesia and, and, and so on, Philippines, uh, um, 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 Ceylon and, and, and I mean the, and these narratives are uh, what, uh, what is the, the most remarkable is, is um, uh, you, you would think that there would be many, many studies on this critical point in history where Mecca undergoes this huge cultural transformation from a place of great pluralism to a place of a, 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 a very... A, a Mecca today is... is, is culturally impoverished, yeah. mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. You know, you can't even do anything different yeah. uh, without having the soldier hitting you or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, flat, completely flat. You would think that there are these, there would be all these studies, historical investigation, nothing. Very, very little. Now, a part of it is the, the influence of Saudi Arabia. I mean, there, there is a, Syrian um, scholar Kabdi uh, Karim Zidane, who, who actually started documenting some of this pluralism and the destruction of this pluralism, um, and he published a 20 volume work on Islamic history, and two volumes were dedicated to the Wahhabi era or the Wahhabi takeover in Mecca. I, I tell you, I, I, I've been looking now 10 years for these two volumes. I found the rest of the set, but these two volumes, <laughs> I, I cannot find it. I, 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 and I've, I've looked in Syria, Jordan, Egypt, Morocco, I, I've, I've offered book finders, you know, I've, I've offered book finders a thousand dollars if they just find it, not even the price of the book. Uh, 
you know, that's part of the reality as well. All right, well, let's, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is, is, is Wednesday? Wednesday. I, I, I was told we meet in a different room. Do you know anything about that? I think, I think, seven. It's all in this building. It's in this building. Okay, so, shall, uh, no, same, same buildings. Uh, same building. First, first day is the different building. First day is Prisma building. Tomorrow is Dante building. This one still. This, this one? This room one. seven. Yeah. Room. Uh, no. Zeus. What? On the email, I don't know. Is it changed? The email. I have it changed to because yeah, yeah, yeah. when they thought there is a lot of us, it used to be a different Fingers. building. Yeah. But th right. But then. Well, I have checked. Uh, We could all meet in my hotel. <laughs> Tomorrow, if I can come, it depends on when, because I organized something with my students for uh, school children outside. So I bet well, I'm free all day. Good weather, I'm working Here, then you're busy. Right. So, no. All right, well, uh, I, I, I hope, um, I hope you, you can make as much as you can. You know? I, 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 I really wish there were more, uh, more, uh, more uh, people who, uh, especially people who deal with youth and so on, that, that, that would become interested in something like this and want, want to learn. I had a conversation uh, about it with my uh, friend who works today, but he still doesn't see the importance. I hope to convince them of it. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very close. I mean, it's very uh, unfortunate because it's uh, uh, every act of human ugliness has always been built on on accumulations of ignorance. 